What's up, guys? This is me, Hyder Pikachu. Once again, I'm Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we took down Erica, and finally, since two months ago, I am gonna do another Heart Gold video. Yes, this gym is a psychic type gym, and I trained my Pokemon to like level 50 something. So yeah, because this gym is freaking hard. The gym puzzle is kind of easy. Just keep warping to the bottom left corner. Like, take that uh, teleporter thingy. And eventually you'll get to Sabrina, the psychic type gym leader. Bring dark types, ghost types, and other. I forgot. That uh, is good against psychic types so yeah bring that I knew you were coming three years ago I had a vision of your arrival you're after my badge I don't enjoy battling uh, yeah so she is psychic by the way like all of her Pokemon and she looks very different from the older games like fire red leaf green so she sent out Espeon, which is a really powerful psychic type attacker, special attacker, and really fast. So um, I'll go for a nice Shadow Claw to destroy it. Well, uh, most of her Pokemon, no, all of her Pokemon, have like weaker uh, physical defense than special defense. So go for physical attacks and. Uh, Try to avoid um, special attacks. And there goes Knives. He went down. And why did I send out Karate Bug? Oh god. Uh, anyway, I'll just uh, sacrifice Karate Bug since he's not much use for this gem. And I just revived Sand Slash right there. Oh yeah, Bug types are uh, good. For, uh, to fight psychic types too, but Karate Bug doesn't have any bug types until like level 60 something. I forgot what level, I don't know, 70 or like 59. So I'll gain some momentum using Bike Me's U-turn for my team. So yeah, let's be on you die. Go Knives. Okay, one down and two more to go. So, her Alakazam is her strongest Pokemon in here. Level 57 of the item Citrus Berry. So, it, got, it has pretty weak special defense. No, not special defense. Physical defense! And physical attack, but really high special wise. So be careful of that. Oh, I mean, level 55, not 57. Eh. So I'll just sacrifice Cuddly right here. And it freaking healed with Citrus Berry. In my test run, this battle is going a lot longer than this. Like, since the battle is only like 5 minutes, I don't know. I'm posting. I'm doing post commentary. So, yeah, my Pokemon has higher levels, so. So, it got like better chance of fighting here. So, go! Fly up there! Since Fly has like a better power than a U turn, so I went for Fly to kill it. Yeah, pretty much any physical moves is gonna destroy it. Not a Kazam. So, Mr. Mine. Go, Mr. Mine. Yeah. She's, pre uh, she's pretty much gonna set up her reflector light screen right there. So super effective, and I went back to Jimmy. No, Crow, uh, Jimmy is me. Why would I call myself Jimmy? Like, what am I, Elmo? Like, yeah. 
so she's gonna use a full whistle right there like all other gym leaders pretty annoying and yeah full whistle here goes heals all the status conditions and it's HP so I went from flame wheel to get some damage on it and you use mimic yay you learn Flame Wheel, congratulations. Wow, critical hit. Huh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Anyways, there goes the match. So yeah, it only took 5 minutes 40 seconds. Like better than my test run. Your power, if far as exceeds what I foresaw. And I think the A button is not working right here. Maybe it isn't possible to fully predict what the future holds. Okay, you win. You earn yourself the March Badge. Jimmy received the March Badge. Alright. I failed to accurately predict your power. That means that your power is beyond my psychic ability. You deserve this. Please take the TM too. Um, thank you. I just overpowered you, I guess. Skill Swamp. Swamp's abilities between the user and the target. So just take that red portal. Or why do I keep calling it portal instead of teleporter? And you're back to the entrance. So next time in Pokemon Heart Gold, I am gonna take on the fifth gym leader. Yes, we have three badges in the Kanto region already. So, next time we're doing that, and peace out.